welcome to my midweek Chinese takeaway cook along. Uh, we're listening to Elvis again today. Uh, my mum loves Elvis Presley, as does my auntie Dawn. Um, so yeah, so that's why we're listening to Elvis. And tonight we are going to cook a really simple chicken yuk sung dish. Now before we get into the dish, the new studio. Not really new. Um, basically we've commandeered the what was the little dining room and uh, we've brought the studio inside. Um, the garage was fine and it worked for the first 12 weeks um, apart from the bin men going past, um, strange people asking if they wanted to buy bikes um, and whatever else was in the garage and I just decided um, it'd be better just to bring it in here we can control the sound. Uh, we've lost the dining room um, but we've got a decent space so I hope you like it and um, yeah we'll see how we get on in this little space. So going back to the chicken yuk sung um, there's, a few dish, there's a few ingredients that you're going to need. Um, we'll go through the fresh ones first of all. So, can't see it really. And also as well, not that you can see, it's just out of shot. We've got another camera now over the wok. So when I do my edits on, a, uh, on YouTube, um, I'll be able to cut so you back to actually be able to see what's going on in the wok and about this much of the chopping board as well, I believe. So anyway, so as I was going on, and I'm rambling, um, I've got some minced garlic and some minced ginger. It's about a thumb sized piece of ginger, and again, we've peeled it, chopped it into a fine mince, uh, and that's ready to go, just saves me a bit of time in a second. I've got two garlic cloves, again, that's just chopped into a mince. Um, we've got an onion, which we're gonna chop in a second. Three nice big fat spring onions, um, whites and greens are gonna go into this one. One carrot, which I'm probably gonna use about half of it, so I'll probably only use about that much of the carrot. We have some water chestnuts, which I just chopped down into a dice as well. And the chicken, pre-diced. It's not minced. Now, you, I suppose technically you could use minced turkey or minced chicken, minced pork. Um, I like the diced chicken, so we actually get pieces of chicken in the dish, but I mean, that's just down to preference, okay? Now, the iceberg lettuce. Now, obviously we're not gonna cook with this, but this is what this is the vessel that we carry it in. So what happens is with the chicken yuk sun, we make this beautiful aromatic dish that's juicy, it's got a nice arrow, it's got all three um, Cantonese um, aromats in it from garlic, ginger, spring onion. We've got the crunchy water, ne water chestnuts. And once we've cooked that, it goes into the iceberg lettuce and we roll it up and we eat it. But before we eat it, we add, now all this is, is um, rice vermicelli. Now it looks like plastic um, when you get it out of the packet. All I did um, this morning, was um, I got a little tiny, about two tablespoons of oil and a little pinch of these noodles just chopped into little pieces and I dropped it into hot oil and they puff up, takes literally two or three seconds and then drain them. And this is just a crunchy vermicelli that goes on top. Again, it's just about textures. We've got ice cold iceberg, we've got crunchy vermicelli, we've got crunchy carrots and water chestnuts, we've got juicy chicken and this is what makes this dish such a favourite in all of the restaurants and takeaways that I've worked in. We have some um, Shaoxing wine, or you can use dry sherry or red wine. Uh, again, for the, those of you that don't like to use alcohol, just leave it out, it's not a problem at all. Um, oyster sauce, again this is just your standard oyster sauce. Dark soy sauce for a bit of colour. Some sesame oil and sugar. And again, we're just gonna balance that dish out with the aromats with a little bit of sugar. Don't need to add salt in this one because of the oyster sauce and the soy sauce. Okay, so um, first thing I'm gonna do is chop the veggies. So um, I've cut the um, carrot into, I don't know, half centimeter slices, I guess they are, in thickness. Um, I'm just gonna stack these up like a stack, stack of cards and I chop them into three and then into a cube. Now, uh, because each mouth, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is make sure that all the veggies are chopped small enough that in every single bite, I get a little bit of chicken, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of water chestnut, a little bit of spring onion, um, and obviously the lettuce that it's wrapped in. So that's all I'm trying to do with this, okay? Uh, probably won't use all of these chest, water chestnuts, and again, I just chop these into bite-sized pieces, if you can see that. Okay, so for the onion, I chop it into three, and then into a small cube. So that's that one done. And there's my onion. And lastly, my spring onion. 
Now the easiest way to chop this, um, I'm going to chop it in half, keeping sort of like these bits together and I just literally bundle it all together. I'm pinching with my little finger and my thumb and I'm just pulling the bunch together and then I'm tucking my, knuckle, uh, my fingers underneath and I'm just using my knuckles as a guide and I'm just going to slice. Now I'm going to do quite a fine shred um, you will know that I'm not I like spring onion when it's cooked but I'm not a massive fan and I don't want chunks of spring onion in it unless I can pick it out so I'm just going to chop this right down and by the time I've sautéed this in my hot oil with the garlic ginger and onions it's going to be fantastic I'm going to try and get a little bit of caramelization on there as well we talked about this I think every week that we cheat flavour by making sure that we actually fry things and we're not just trying to um, boil them. So, on goes my wok. My wok's getting nice and hot. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil. So again, this is just plain vegetable oil. Um, you can use coconut oil, groundnut oil. Now I say use groundnut oil in my cookbook because groundnut oil can take a higher temperature. And when we're wok, wok frying, we want that temperature red hot. The thing is with these other oils, like uh, vegetable oil um, and even olive oil, because you can use olive oil, there is going to be a background flavour there, but you know, there's nothing saying you can't use it. It spoils when it gets to a certain temperature. Whereas ground oil um, can really take the heat and it doesn't spoil. So again, two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to get my aromats in first. So let's get spring onions in. Followed by the chopped ginger. And there's about a tablespoon there, or a thumb piece, okay, of chopped ginger. And it's really fine, as is the garlic. And I'm going to fry these for about 30, 40 seconds, um, just until I get that real strong aromatic um, scent in the air, so it's gonna smell, it's gonna smell like a Chinese restaurant right in the dining room. So, which is perfect actually. For this as well, chicken yuk sung is normally served as a starter or an appetizer. So in goes my onion. Now I don't, again, I just wanna soften my onion and then just try and get that caramelization uh, before I start crowding the pan too much. And because the chicken is cut into really small pieces, it's going to cook really quickly. Okay, so my garlic, my spring onion are taking colour. My onions are just becoming a bit translucent now. Um, so again, I'll give them about another 30 seconds or so. And then we'll get, in fact, we'll get the chicken in next. So I'm going to put the carrots in after the chicken because I want to try and retain some of that crunch um, and the water chestnuts as well actually. So. Oh, if I didn't say earlier, um, there are two large chicken breasts. Um, I'd probably say about 350 grams. Um, if you're going to do this for four people, you want about 500 grams of chicken, um, which is pretty much a whole pack that you would buy from the co-op or Sainsbury's. Um, 350 grams is plenty as a starter for two people, um, especially if you're going to be eating other food afterwards as well. Okay, so I'm just pushing the onion, garlic, spring onion to the side, and I'm just going to pop my diced chicken straight into the middle. And once I've kind of like covered the base of the wok with the chicken, I'm just going to leave it. Um, if I keep on stirring it too much now, what happens is it will begin to stew. And I don't want it to stew, I want it to fry. So, once I've got this single layer sorted out on the bottom of my wok, and this is a flat bottom wok, I'm just going to leave it alone now for a second. Bottom of the chicken's cooked, so I can see that now because it's still pink on top, but underneath it's all white. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stir it around, and you can see that I've got lovely caramelization now on the top of the chicken so i'm just showing this camera but i'll show you guys as well live now so there's that caramelization that i'm talking about so the chicken is frying not just so uh, not just boiling 
away in this wok. Okay, now I've given it a stir, I'm going to get my water chestnuts and my carrots into the wok. I was watching Gordon Ramsay the other day and I was very tempted then to say carrots in, water chestnuts in. That's all he says. Okay, let's leave that alone for a second. Let's give everything from white down in for the wets. So what I'm going to do, so you know what, I'm going to put the wine in towards the end. So I'm going to use about two tablespoons of oyster sauce. If I can get two tablespoons out, it's so nearly empty this one now. So, so there's one tablespoon. There's about two tablespoons of oyster sauce. So in that goes. Followed by about half a tablespoon of dark soy sauce and again it's only approximately okay this is now followed by about half a teaspoon to a three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar which is about three pinches so there's a little sugar for sweetness and I'll pop these to one side so we can clear some room as we go and we'll give everything a really really good stir Okay, now that everything's covered, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Chardonnay wine. Uh, again, you can leave this out completely, or you can use dry sherry or red wine, by all means do so. About a capful, in that goes, and give that a stir straight away. Now, when you follow a recipe, you've got to use your noggin a little bit. You've got to use your head. So, if a recipe says ABC, doesn't necessarily mean ABC is the way that you want it. If you want that little bit more of a wine taste put in towards the end. Uh, if a recipe says, okay, you want to use a teaspoon of sugar, but you don't like it too sweet, start eliminating, start taking it right back and get that flavour that you're happy with. It could be that you get away with no, putting no sugar in. If you don't like oyster sauce or you're allergic to shellfish, there are alternatives out there like mushroom stir fry sauce. Recipes are only there as a rough guideline, okay? Off goes the heat as normal. Finish off with a teaspoon of sesame oil. That gets spread all over. Put that there. So here's the filling for our chicken yuck sum. Now you can do this with pork, you can do it with king prawn, you can do it with mushroom, you can do it with cauliflower if you're vegetarian. And Just because I can, I'm going to garnish it with my fried vermicelli, or vermicelli even, with rice noodles, or rice noodles. So there we have it guys, and before, I'm going to build this for you in a second as well. So here's my chicken yuxang, um Cantonese style, it's very much a Cantonese dish, uh, with fried vermicelli on the top. Again, I didn't include it on the recipe because um, it's not necessary even. Um, and you could use peanuts or you could use cashew nuts. I'm just going to show you this camera what that looks like. So there's my chicken yuxa. And then what we do here guys, we take a nice big, well in fact you know what, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to take an iceberg lettuce leaf. Now, there's a trick to getting the iceberg lettuce leaves off whole. So imagine that that's your normal iceberg lettuce and it's all together. What you do, okay, under a very slow running cold tap, you peel open one of the leaves, okay, and you let the water dribble into the leaf. And as it starts to fill, it gets heavier and heavier and actually falls away. So there's a trick that, to get whole leaves off your um, iceberg lettuce, okay. I'm going to take my spoon. I'm going to take some of the filling along with some of my rice noodles. Oh, I've put too much non rice noodles on there, you can't see the filling. So I'll add a little bit of filling on the side. And there we have it, guys. My fully made chicken yuxang Cantonese style. I hope you've enjoyed this cook along, it's been nice and quick. Uh, look out for the new video, which will be out next week uh, with the new footage, hopefully, if this camera's working. 
and I hope you have a fantastic week. Um, next week we're back again at 12 o'clock for the uh, primary school cook along at, um, on the Wednesday and then again at 6.30. But until then guys, have a fantastic rest of the day and um, I shall see you soon, okay? Bye bye. A quick close up. There you go, there's our chicken yuck song. There's the rest of it. That's going to get devoured in a second. Have a great week, guys. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.